Welcome friends. So in this video, we are going to talk about the Z1 analyzer and live telemetry and specifically how you use a pre-recorded lab with live telemetry to compare the two and get a real time comparison between the live telemetry and the pre-recorded lab. So uh, a couple of assumptions on this one that you have driven your lab that you want to use as a pre-recorded lab. Uh, you've done that with uh, data logging on in your uh, chosen SIM. And you have then run the lap scan in the Z1 analyzer so that you can load that lap into the Z1 analyzer. So uh, in this uh, example, we are going to use uh, iRacing's new 718 uh, GT4 car. And we're going to be running at uh, Mosport in uh, Canada. So this is our starting point. Uh, we have the uh, Z1 analyzer open and we have the lap that we want to use as the comparison lap loaded uh, as the base lap. So how do we get here? Uh, the first thing you would do, as I said before, is you've run your lap and you've recorded it and you've done a lap scan. So if you need uh, examples of how to do that, there are other videos in the channel showing how you import uh, data into the analyzer and do lap scans. So for now, we're going to start with going to file and opening our lap. Uh, we're doing iRacing and you can do this with whatever sim uh, you like. And then we're going to choose our track. We're only going to show my local laps because I just want to see the laps that I've driven. And I'm going to choose my uh, comparison lap. So in this case, it's a 129.1, uh, sort of an average lap, and I want to see if I run against uh, that in live telemetry, can I better that time? Um, or if you're doing driver training or anything like that, you would might have a really good lap uh, and you want to see how the person you're coaching compares to that uh, and uh, can they match that lap. So the first thing we do is we find the lap. Uh, it's this one right here. I'm going to right click and choose open as base lap. So I do that and that's how I ended up with this screen here where I have uh, the track map and um, the base lap loaded and I have the uh, traces that I'm interested in for this particular uh, comparison. Uh, obviously you can choose any traces you like. You, know, you right click on the trace and choose what you'd like to display. Uh, that's up to you. But for this purpose we're going to go with uh, what I have here. So there are a couple of settings that are associated with live telemetry that we're going to look at before we actually start our uh, laps. So we go to the settings window and click on live telemetry. And what we're interested in is over here uh, on the left, the data points uh, and start data line and end and all these options here. So let's look at data points. This number here, 500, uh, is the number of data points to keep in memory. Uh, it does not affect the uh, frequency of recording or anything like that. It's still recorded at the same frequency. Um, it's just how many we display at once. So the larger the number, uh, the less you're going to be able to see because everything has to be crammed into the smaller space. Um, but the smaller the number, you can, you'll display fewer data points at one time and you'll have a better resolution. So this is really up to you. Uh, 500 uh, gives you a pretty good idea and that's what we're going to be running here. Uh, if you're using a much bigger screen, you might want to run uh, a higher number of data points and see more at once. But again, uh, it's up to you and your system. 500 is a good average to use. Uh, the start data line at the end. This is a good idea to leave this checked. Um, that means the data line starts at the right and goes to the left as you drive. Then we have the pin data line to the end. This just means the line that's showing you the current value of the um, trace is always going to be at the end or the right side of the trace. Uh, you won't be able to click on anywhere else to see what's going on uh, with that particular location. If you want to be able to click around as the person drives, you'd want to uncheck this option. And then uh, show trace values. This just means Within the trace, you all see uh, a numerical display of whatever the value of that trace actually is. So if you're on a throttle trace and you're at 100% throttle, it will say 100% um, for the trace value. If you uncheck this, then you'll just get the graph and no actual numbers. And finally, the show lap times. 
Uh, if you check this and you are viewing a track map, then at the top of the track map, you will see the lap time of uh, the previous lap uh, and the best lap, uh, and also how many laps you've actually completed during this session. So a couple of more options to talk about in the settings options for live telemetry are under the commercial tab. Uh, the reason they're under the commercial tab is because they are commercial only options. So um, we have here these limits. Uh, you can choose every single data channel in the analyzer uh, and you can set a minimum and a maximum limit for that data channel. And if when you're running the live telemetry, the data channel exceeds the maximum or the minimum limit, then the uh, trace that is displaying that data channel will flash with a red border so you know that uh, the, your limits have been exceeded. Uh, you might want to use this, for example, for an oil pressure reading or for um, possibly an RPM to see if you over rev or anything like that. Um, but that's what this does, the limits uh, and the minimum and the maximum. So this live extents means the numbers on the left side of the graph will be uh, calculated on the fly. So every time we redraw the um, data channels, we will also calculate the minimum and maximum to show on the uh, graphs. Then we have the compare live to base lap. This is obviously what this whole video is about. You definitely want to have this checked. Uh, if you don't have this checked, then any base lap you have loaded when you start live telemetry will be uh, removed from the analyzer. Uh, and then finally, use the base lap uh, map when it's available. So uh, the analyzer does not create the track map uh, on the fly when you're doing live telemetry, but if you have a base lap loaded, you can use the track map from that base lap to display uh, on the live telemetry. So most of the time, you're probably going to leave this checked. Uh, an option when you wouldn't leave this checked is if you have created your own track map for this particular track and perhaps it's annotated in some way or something like that um, and you don't want that to be overridden. So that's what this option does. So those are the main things you want to look at uh, if you want to customize how live telemetry works. So with that said, we click OK and we get back to our um, base lap. Now remember the base lap uh, comparison is a commercial feature. So uh, if you do not have a commercial license, uh, you, the base lap will be removed once you start live telemetry. So uh, the next thing would be to uh, start the sim and have the driver get in the car. So in iRacing, we're in a test session, we get in the car. And then under the file menu, you can go to start live telemetry right here. So now uh, we still have our track map. We have the uh, current um, driver in the car um, and the base lap, which was a 129.1. And this green bar down here tells us that we are in live telemetry mode. So uh, let's look at this in action as we're driving around the track. So here we are looking at the live telemetry um, compared to the pre-recorded base lap. And uh, we are looking at this using a uh, distance comparison. Uh, and we'll get into how you change that between distance and a time comparison uh, after we look at this part. So you can see um, the gray lines in the traces represent the data from the pre-recorded lap and the uh, colored lines represent the data from the live lab. And you can change those colors to suit um, you uh, in the color section of the settings dialog. So we'll just let this go for a few moments so you can see uh, how the uh, comparison works. So what we were looking at in that previous lap is a uh, distance based comparison between the pre-recorded lap and the live telemetry. So that means that wherever you were in your lap in the live telemetry, 
the trace would show the same uh, location of the pre-recorded lap um, on, the, on the trace. This gives you a really good idea to see how driver inputs compare at each part of the track uh, so you can see what the two laps are doing differently and how the driver could improve. If you want to use time-based um, comparison, you can do that by going to the settings dialog and under graph by change this to lap time. If you do that, then uh, what you see, and you can see this right here, the gray dot is the base lap driving around and the red dot is um, the driver in a live telemetry who right now is just in the pit so they're not actually going anywhere. You can use this to see if you're gaining or losing against the um, base lap. So if that's your goal for your driver coaching session or um, whatever else you're using the live telemetry for, that option is in the settings menu uh, under the graph by changing it to lap time. So this one is a time-based comparison. And you can see that the, on the track map, the red dot represents the live telemetry car, and the gray dot represents the um, reference lap. And you would use this if you're trying to see if you're gaining or losing time against the uh, actual reference lap. Now, and every time you pass the start-finish line, the reference lap will reset so that the cars will start at the same location every lap. You don't gain, every, you, know, you don't continue to gain time or lose time once you pass the finish line. So this gives you um, a reset and you can see uh, each lap how you're doing compared to the reference lap. And again, this is in the settings dialog under the graph by option. So that's how live telemetry works when comparing against a pre-recorded base lap. Now remember, this is a commercial feature, so you will need a commercial license in order to make this work. If you have any questions or comments, please put them in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And until next time, stay safe and stay healthy.